What's good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today I'm going to share what's sold on eBay and on Poshmark but at first just check out the background a little bit. The inventory is starting to stack up a little bit so I'm definitely happy about that because before the quarantine hit the inventory was stacked up to the ceiling and slowly but surely we're starting to build up some more inventory and I'm really happy about that. Hopefully we can still keep on course and earn $300,000 in sales this year but at the end of the day it is what it is. After a pandemic like this happens uh, some of the goals kind of got throughout the window but we're going to keep trying to push it and see what we can do but today i'm going to share some of the ebay and the poshmark sales and the last time i did one of these videos the ebay and poshmark sales was crazy that was kind of like a three-day weekend so it's kind of like a cheat code of course it's going to be more sales when we're talking about three days worth of sales but today is definitely not as crazy we got about six things going out on ebay and i think two on poshmark so as usual i'll start with the poshmark orders and then go into the ebay orders so if you guys haven't already hit that like button subscribe to the channel and let's go for Poshmark we got this pair of Adidas top tens and these are in like that Miami Dolphins colorway really dope really clean brand new in the box and I actually purchased these from the eBay uh, the Adidas eBay store I think I spent 20 bucks for these and they sold on Poshmark for 57 so I made some decent profit basically doubled my money on these I had a few pairs of these in a size 9 but they're slowly slowly moving so slowly but surely now get them all sold and and continue to make some good money on these but if you guys didn't already definitely check out that adidas ebay store that's a good place to source sometimes the items take a while to sell but if you can afford it and you can afford to wait definitely check it out next up we got this pair of shorts and this one is from armani exchange and the other day one sold on poshmark and i actually have another one that sold on poshmark in a different size but i thought they were all gonna just sell on ebay but one today sold on ebay and another one sold on posh and this one sold on ebay for 25 and on posh it sold for 29 so we got two of these going out today and I'm just glad that these shorts are selling because I got these shorts from Dillard's and I had so many of them in the inventory and I knew around the summertime they would start to sell and my, my theory is definitely starting to prove me right so I'm happy about that. Alright y'all so first up we got these blank Maxwell cassette tapes and I actually had these sitting in the inventory for a very long time. I didn't even list it because these type of stuff sell for a, just very very small profits but I always tell you guys small profits add up and since this since eBay was giving us so many free listings I think they gave like 50,000 free listings I decided to just list all of those things that I had that was sitting for a very long time that wouldn't that wouldn't bring in a decent amount of money I just figured now is the time to just list all of those items that sell for $15 and le $15 or less and these the five of these I sold them as a lot and they sold for $16.99 free shipping and the good thing about something like this I'm going to ship this out via media mail and media mail is just a cheaper option to use when you're shipping stuff like this blank media dvds books that's perfect for media mail so i'm gonna do go ahead and do that and like i said i had this sitting for such a long time i'm just glad that i finally got it up and listed and it sold within like three or four days after listing it so that was a really quick flip next up we got another copy of this crash bandicoot for the game boy advance and if you guys remember i sold this copy like two or three days ago and the that copy that i had was actually in really good condition there was no uh peeling and anything like that but however this this copy in particular there was definitely somebody that tried to peel this off but it still works i tested it i actually have an older game boy advance that i like to just have just to test some of these games and this one also sold for 10.99 so if you guys got game boy advance games definitely want to put those up now because these are definitely selling not for a good amount of money but i mean 10.99 i got this for free so basically all profit next up we got this xbox 360 connect and this one actually sold for 25 bucks i was surprised about that but like i've been telling you guys anything gaming related is selling like crazy and it's selling for a good amount of profit and this one i had in the death pile for for years at this point and i, I realized at that point it wasn't selling for much it was selling for like 10 bucks so i was sitting on it but now the price has went up and now they're selling for about 25 next up we got this brooks brothers vintage blazer and this is definitely one of those more classic blazers with the gold brass buttons on here i actually had this sitting for i don't even know how long i had this listed but this one was a kind of an awkward size i believe this one 
was like size 46 xl and i definitely never seen a blazer that said xl in it so i just listed this for 20 bucks i know these brooks brothers blazers don't sell for much and if i had to guess i probably spent no more than two or three dollars for this one so this one finally did sell like i said i had it listed for a very long time but blazers right now is definitely not what's moving for me blazers are sitting blazers usually sell a lot better during the fall and winter so keep that in mind if you guys have like been thinking about selling blazers they usually do a lot better later on to be honest this one might have sold for some more money if i if i maybe waited until fall or spring i mean fall or winter but it is what it is i'm just glad this is finally out of the house and since it's such an awkward size i'm just hoping that we don't get a return next up we got another one of these tennis skirts that has been selling really well these are either tennis or golf skirts but these have been selling pretty well since we picked these up in san diego these were all brand new with tags and i got a bunch in a size large and a size medium this is actually the first size large that sold and we got these for five dollars a piece so this was a really good sale and hopefully the rest of them sell out i think we got about 10 left in these and they've been selling just about maybe one or two a week but of course as the summer continues to progress these will probably all be sold out by the end of the summer and last but not least in terms of sales we got this pair of nike air max pluses in this black and vault colorway i grabbed these up from ross a few months ago uh, before quarantine hit and these i, I could have swore these were going to sell out a lot faster i think i just had my price a little too high i was seeing a bunch of the comps selling for about 130 140 so that's what i priced mine at but then slowly but surely the the comp started to dip and this one ended up selling for 115 so still a decent amount of profit i think i got these for 49.99 so like i said still some decent profit was made i just had to lower the price in order to convert that sale and i'm not a huge fan of constantly lowering prices but certain times after maybe two or three months unless it's something that i'm not really like excited about i'll usually trade some of those older stuff but items like this that i know has a lot of potential i'll just lower the price and wait until the right buyer comes along and of course anytime you're selling anything any uh, athletic shoes that sells for over 100 bucks you save money on fees on ebay so that's always important to me so try to sell some of your stuff a little more expensive if you can but just just keep in mind the more expensive the item usually the longer you have to wait and that's what i had to do with these but still a really good sale all right y'all so as i was telling you guys the stacks behind me are getting full again so now we're starting to get some more inventory and that's always a good thing these are some more stuff that i grabbed from ross um some of the other rosses in my area i have like 10 different ross locations so i hit up another one and i was able to find just a few more pairs of some decent cleats and some you know some stuff that were pretty cheap i think both of these were 2.99 a piece and the rest of these are all sneakers from ross and nordstrom rack these are the zx 500s i remember when i first picked these up these were selling for like 100 bucks then of course the flood happened and now they're selling for closer to 60 to 70. good thing is i grabbed those from uh from ross i think i spent 20 bucks on these so i could still make some decent profit on these even though the price point went down quite a bit then we got some more sneakers here from ross some vans from nordstrom rack and just some more random shoes here or there i think i grabbed these from tj maxx a couple days ago these are really dope in my opinion um i think i spent 30 bucks on these and i was seeing these sell closer to 90 dollars. so i'll keep you guys updated on how those sell but we got some really good inventory still coming in a lot of these stores they're not necessarily restocking but i'm noticing that i think some people are just making some returns and i'm just able to grab some of those up even if your ross and your marshals open back up and you guys are kind of questioning whether to check it back out because they might not have restocked they're still taking returns so you never know what you'll be able to go in there and see and be able to flip online so definitely check that out and these were going to be going up today uh dom already took the photos of these so i'm just going to have to list these really quickly and hopefully uh put these in another what so video for you guys really soon all right y'all so i'm going to pack up these orders as quickly as possible and get these orders out today and as you guys realize today definitely wasn't a huge sale day but every day isn't going to be like my last video where we got 50 orders going out today was just a regular kind of an average day and a lot of these were just smaller 
smaller profit items but I always tell you guys small profits do add up so if you have things that's gonna sell for like ten dollars or less now is the perfect time to list it especially since eBay gave us 50 50,000 free listings if you have an eBay store so I'm just really trying to take full advantage of that and just use up as many listings as possible personally I would prefer if they was to kind of give us less fees or some type of a seller discount in terms of fees but it is what it is I'll just take what we can get at this point um, drop a comment if you guys agree if you think you're using all of these eBay listings or if you would have preferred some type of eBay seller discount in terms of the fees because that's the that to me that would have been way more beneficial than just giving us free listings but it is what it is comment below and let me know your guys thoughts and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one peace Let's go. Worst back in the day, and so I can't complain. So I can't complain. For all the times I pray carnivores don't come take. Uh, Cause this pop and a pop.